So we've been working on Street Scene for about two months from the initial sort of white card reveal. Um, from there we've been working through some of the technical issues, some of the problems. It's quite a large set, uh, it's seven metres tall, but we're also going into the sub-basement as well, so we've got another three metres down. We've also got practical balconies and windows that are practical. Um, the cast accesses every conceivable space within the buildings themselves. Everything that uh, was presented at the design meeting has been made by the staff and students within the Production Arts and Design Programme and the CPU departments. Uh, that includes some of the furniture, some of the props, um, not just the scenery. Uh, between the wardrobe department, the props department, construction and paint shop, we've recreated everything that the designer is looking for, right down to the fire hydrants, uh, even to the hats. The street scene is an opera. Um, and it's, I think it's a 1940s kind of era. So what we're creating is a kind of New York tenement block. It's kind of a sort of working class area, quite messy, quite dirty, um, quite full and packed. And uh, all the action takes place in this street, as it were. And in the background, you can see the, the kind of glistening skyline of uh, New York City. And uh, I think that's their dream and their focus is on that area. I really like the immediacy of it. That, You've got the design and then it, you build it and it goes on stage rather than just a purely theoretical exercise. We see it up close, kind of unfinished stage, and it's just amazing to see it when it's in the real world, when it's got the lighting on it and it feels like an actual, a real object. And it's amazing to see, know that we made that out of timber or out of metal or anything like that. Uh, if you're coming to study here, the main thing to note is that there is no distinction between a real live workshop in industry and what we're doing. The performance and the production uh, process is how we teach and how we learn. Uh, it's the best resource you can have because you're in the environment. It's not just about the theoretical, it's the practical, it's the soft skills you learn whilst you're working with the staff who are effectively professionals. They're not just lecturers and tutors, they're, they're carpenters and welders, uh, fabricators. Uh, so you, you're getting a the full experience but you have the support of the tutors and the staff to make sure that you can have time to learn within that high pressure environment.